Hey guys, if you bought your first engine kit, built it, and are thinking about modifying it with upgrade parts, this video is for you. Because I'm gonna be going over two performance parts that go great together, and it's gonna take your engine to the next level. I'll be also linking all the tutorial instructional videos in this video as they come out in the future. So you guys stay tuned. The two parts that I'll be going over today is the boost bottle and the expansion chamber. These two parts go great together because they kind of do the same thing, but at opposite ends of an engine. The primary function of both of these parts is they take excess fuel and air that wasn't used in the combustion and sends it back into the piston chamber to be used on the next stroke. I'll go over how both of these parts work together, but first I want to explain how they work individually and how they increase the performance of your bike. Adding a boost ball kit to your engine will make it run three to four times smoother and decrease vibration on your handlebars and motor mounts. It's one of the most cost value upgrades. The bottle provides a boost or supercharge effect by expanding your intake area on your engine. When you look inside a running two-stroke, the pistons will move up and down. Going up, it compresses all the air and fuel where the spark plug will discharge and combust, pushing the pistons to go back down for nerve rotation. When it lowers, it sucks in just the right amount of air and fuel from the carburetor for another complete charge. What tends to happen in a two-stroke is that while the piston is pushing up, it'll push some of the air-fuel mixture that it originally pulled back into the carburetor, which is gonna cause some of your performance and bogging issues because when the next air fuel mixture that goes into the piston chamber is gonna be inconsistent. The boost bottle fixes this by storing the air and fuel mixture and slowly lets it back out, which is gonna give you a smoother and overall performance boost for your motor. You'll notice an awesome upgrade in power and torque. You'll gain about four to six miles per hour. Not only will the horsepower and speed increase, but numerous issues such as heavy exhaust smoke, very hot engine temperatures, heavy engine loading, and hard starts will greatly decrease. For a deeper look at how a boost bottle works, I'll add a link to the instructional tutorial at the end of this video. Another part that's gonna directly improve your bike is an expansion chamber. This is gonna be part of your exhaust and it's gonna act like a vacuum that's gonna suck out any spent or unused fuel out of your piston chamber while at the same time during the piston's downstroke, it's gonna put back that unused fuel, creating more horsepower. In principle, it works exactly like a boost bottle, but it catches the excess fuel and air in the exhaust instead of the intake and puts it back into your piston chamber. That's why the expansion chamber works so great with the boost bottle. They both maximize your fuel and air compression rate in your piston chamber on both the upstroke and the downstroke, which in theory gives you a supercharge on every combustion. With these two performance parts, they create a double feedback loop that should make your engine 100% efficient in its consumption of fuel while adding seven to eight miles per hour to your engine. With this combination, it should give you a smoother ride with less vibrations while doubling your torque. With the expansion chamber, there's a far more scientific explanation on how it works but I want to save that for the tutorial video on how to install your expansion chamber to your two-stroke engine. For that video, you can click right here or you can hit the subscribe button. And as always, hit the like button and leave me a comment because I love hearing what you guys have to say. I'm Alan from Bikeberry and I'll see you guys in the next video.